As I put my clothes through daily use, they definitely get some wear and tear. Some of them much more than others. As my things have developed holes or torn seams or ripped seams, I've put them aside into a mending pile to be fixed at some point later. I've also added a few thrift finds to the mending pile because they need a little bit of TLC before I can wear them. And my mending pile has been growing and growing and growing. <laughs> and I think it's finally time for me to fix up and finish all of my clothes. By the way, if you're wondering what I'm using to make my bread today, it is an antique bread machine from 1905, which was manufactured right here in this warehouse behind me. P.S. If you want to know a little bit more about this bread maker, the history of it, and me using it, feel free to check out my Patreon. All that aside, let's get back home to my mending pile. I have a pretty extensive list of items that I need to fix and or finish, but I wanted to tackle this one first. If you don't know, I actually hand wove this, but I never took the time to finish the fringes, which isn't such a bad thing. I mean, they look fine. I just noticed that I pull on them every once in a while and it pulls the threads of the shawl, which makes it a little bit wobbly. The first thing I'll have to do is kind of roughly trim all the fringes to be the same height. Then I'll break out the fringe twister to twist them all up and then my shawl should be all finished. So I just went and I got gathered together all the different things that I think need thing, mending, altering, finishing that I've just been putting off very, very long time. We have one sweater that needs reinforcing and darning. We have a few pieces with holes, rips, and tears. Some where I need a reinforcing patch, some where I don't. We'll try to get through all of it. <laughs> I think I'm gonna start with the things that require hole repair, but without patches. I had started on this already, so I did the two easy ones, which were these pairs of jeans that had holes right at the butt. This pair had a rip that I fixed. It was a very quick fix one time and I didn't have a blue thread available, so I used purple. I'm going to rip back this fix and redo it so that I can do it with a matching color of thread this time. Now that all of my jeans are back to wearing condition, I have thrown them all into the wash and we'll move on to the next most urgent thing that I have, which is my lovely pillow. This is a, I think they're called a European style pillow or maybe a German style pillow. Um, they're 80 by 80 centimeters and my washing machine kind of ate it. So want to make sure that I get this done because the stuffing is coming out and creating such a mess. I have some cotton fabric here that I'm going to reinforce this pillow from the inside and then I'm gonna stitch over the outside rips with that. It went right through the zipper, like it tore directly through the zipper. Let's patch this. super happy with how my pillow turned out. I have been missing my pillow for so long, so I'm so excited to be able to sleep with it tonight. I'm so glad that I can use it, and I'm also really glad that it's no longer spilling its guts everywhere and causing a huge mess. Let's move on to the next piece, this wool skirt. This is a lovely vintage piece. It has been treated for moths. I marked one very obvious hole on this, and I've just been holding it up to the light to see if there, there aren't any other obvious holes, but there are other weak spots in the fabric of this skirt that I want to reinforce before I wear it. With all of those holes in my skirt reinforced, it's time to move on to my slips. This first slip had a rip between the fabric and one of the lace details, and there really wasn't enough structural integrity left in the fabric for me to sew it straight back together, so I used a patch to reinforce it and make sure it was strong enough to hold up to daily wear. I really like these slips. 
slips, so I wanted to be able to continue wearing them in the future. If you're inspired to start doing your own mending, I can highly recommend looking up YouTube tutorials on how to do this kind of mending and what mending works best, but I also have my favorite mending and darning book linked in the description box below. It is a very sweet story, but also has fantastic instructions in it. My second slip had already been repaired by the previous owner. You can see that in the lace here. And when I got this slip, there were a few more tears that I have to fix in the lace. So I used the same technique from the previous owner of these slips who repaired it to repair my own. There was quite a few modifications done to this particular slip, but I love that because it seems to have served the purpose of every subsequent owner and what they needed it for most. It's a new day and it's another day for mending my clothes. I think I'm going to start with this lovely winter bed jacket. I noticed that we have a little bit of a rip right here in the armpit. So I'm just gonna grab a needle and thread and sew that back together. This next one is really special to me. We went on a trip recently to the UK and I brought home this vintage hand-knit Aran sweater. I have always wanted an Aran sweater and to find a vintage hand-knit one was amazing. The only thing is that it was hanging on a hanger, which if you didn't know, is not recommended for knitwear. Even if it's factory knit, it just puts extra strain on your clothes and can stretch them out. Um, but beyond the stretching, the strain on this put holes and tears in this. However, I found a very, very good match for this yarn in my stash. And I'm gonna go in and I am going to fix the holes and bits where it's coming apart. After that, I only have one one-ish project to finish, which are my wrap house dresses that I showed off in a video a few months ago. And then I never wore the house dresses anymore because I never really finished them. Okay, but let's get back to the plot of this lovely sweater. of the sweater went much better than I expected and then it was time to move on to finishing my lovely house wrap dresses. All that was needed was to finish the sleeve facings, hem the dresses, as well as put a button on in the back. This particular dress I also decided to try and dye a darker color but if you see here I think I used the wrong dye and while it turned out maybe slightly darker it wasn't much of a difference but finishing these mending projects makes it feel like I built a whole new wardrobe. I have two new wrap dresses, two slips that I can wear, my bed jacket is back in working condition, I have a wool skirt and an errant sweater that I can pair with it, three more jeans that I can wear again, my lovely hand woven scarf, as well as my pillow, which is so important for a good night's sleep. I also found a few other pieces in my vintage collection that I realized just don't really fit me properly, so I will be listing them in my Etsy shop just in case any of you are interested and I'd love for it to go to a great home. Thank you again so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you all again very, very soon. Bye! <laughs>